isn't the truth, Ken. It and is. I think everybody, you know, we wouldn't have done this action. What effect, we man, what effect is your because, strike going to have then? Tell me. Because, there were strikes, of course, the nurses' strike. Uh, yesterday we saw a very rare sight. I haven't seen it in living memory. Nurses walked out of the hospitals and there they were on picket lines. Uh, let's talk to registered nurse and Nurses United member Donna Hales. Uh, morning, Donna. Good morning, Kev. Uh, were you on the picket lines yesterday? No, my hospital trust isn't actually uh, striking in this first wave, but I was at a rally yesterday mm. um, in our local town of Chesterfield, um, sort of looking at people, see what kind of support we were getting um, for the strike action. And actually, it was very positive on the ground with, with the general public. Do you think that support, if you like, will continue uh, for much longer? Because... I mean, you've got uh, next week, isn't it? December the 20th, you go out again. So, to be yeah. fair, it's just the odd day here and there. But when the nurses are, aren't in hospitals, uh, patient safety will be compromised, won't it? Now, people might even die because of this strike. Uh, at that point, people aren't going to support the angels, are they? People are dying now, Kevin. Um, you know, we know that, that ward staffing levels are grossly uh, under undersubscribed. We don't have enough clinical skill mix on the wards at the moment. Um, the B BMJ did a study in September that showed that if you've got poor skill mix on wards, then patient mortality is likely to rise. Um, so we know that that's a fact. Now, at the moment, during the, scare, during the strikes, the wards are probably have enough staff than they normally They have more staff than they normally have. Um, so, you know, no, nurses aren't just down... Yeah, that, wait, wait, wait. Did you just say that when the nurses are on strike, the wards have got more nurses than they normally yeah. have? Yeah, because what, what's uh, happening... Do you want to explain that? That doesn't make yeah, any no, sense I, at all. No, it, it does make sense, because most of the services that have been that, that have been closed or stopped at the moment are outpatient services so, or day case for services. So your, so your strike's not going to be very effective because there's more nurses at work than uh, when you're not on strike. Well, part of the, part of the thing is what happens is if you're in an area and you're not striking, then you'll get moved to another area to cover the striking staff. So actually, you know, the trusts and the RCN have been very careful to make sure that critical areas are covered adequately and safely um, while the nurses go out on strike. The problem is that we're running on below staffing yeah. levels at the moment. Yeah, but look, look, if the nurses aren't there, I mean, this isn't against your uh, industrial action. Uh, no. This isn't against uh, your demands for better conditions, uh, for uh, better pay. This isn't against that. I just worry that if nurses aren't in hospitals, same as the ambulance drivers next week who are going to walk out, when they're not around, people will die because of these industrial actions. Is that an OK equation with you? People won't die. They will. People they die. will. They absolutely will, Donna. <laughs> Donna, what is no, the what? point of nurses if when they walk out, no safety, uh, no patient safety is compromised? What exactly is it that you people do if you don't save lives? I think, can, can you let me speak, Kev, and then I'll explain to you what's going on at the moment. Prior to the pandemic, we had 4.6 million people on a waiting list. We've now got 7 million people waiting on a waiting list. So even before the pandemic, the waiting list in NHS Trust was really high. And the reason it was high was because we haven't got enough adequately skilled staff to do the jobs that the government and the people want us to do. So what we're saying now is if we carry on at the rate we're going at the moment, we definitely will be getting into terrible situations where we haven't got adequate staffing and patient safety is affected. I've got, I've got that. That's I've got that. OK, I've got that. But so what you're saying is, and I respect the fact that you the nurses worry about patient safety in the long term but what you're effectively doing is saying patient safety in the short term will be sacrificed for our long-term aims so by walking out you people the nurses are compromising patient safety and people will die because of it are you happy with that occasion that isn't the truth, Kat. It is. And I think everybody, you know, we wouldn't have done this action. What effect, we man, what effect is your because, strike going to have then? Tell me. Because, well, what is the point up, of you walking got, out? The point of us walking out is because we want to make sure that we've got adequate, safe staffing levels. We know well, that they're being the moment. When you're not well, there, there won't be safe staffing but levels, again, will there? You're just, you're just shouting at me because you've well, got because, no evidence. Because I don't quite so see got, the logic you of your have, argument. Yeah, because you have got no evidence that no patients are going to die because of this action. We have made sure... You've got no evidence that they're not. They, of course they are. Patients are waiting. Patients are waiting in, in ambulances for 10 hours, 20 hours outside hospitals. People are waiting on trolleys for 24, 48 hours. 
in hospitals waiting for beds because the system is completely blocked. Well, it's, it's going to be really blocked. blocked when you're not there. Uh, can, not can, let me ask now. you another. Let me ask you another element, Donna. Uh, I mean, quite how you're helping waiting lists by walking out. I don't quite know. Twelve hours. Uh, yeah, 12 but hours. Uh, yeah. Well, you walked out, and that uh, will have a bad effect on patients, and you know it. Uh, but you're also demanding 19 percent. That's fantasy land. Well, the government has to actually get round the table and talk to the nurses. I agree with you there. So the, R the RCN is not a renegade union. It's not affiliated to any political party. It's not a member of the TUC. So for the RCN to take this action, the RCN is the gold standard of nursing unions. For the RCN to want us to take this action and to get the support from its members, things have got to change. Something is fundamentally broken with the way that we're managing the NHS and the way that we're supporting nursing staff. And there's loads of issues. I could go into loads of things, Kevin, that I think need to be okay. done to improve Look, the situation. Donna, as, I, as, I, as I said at the outset, uh, I'm not against the nurses' uh, pay claims. I think everybody agrees the nurses mm. deserve some kind of a pay rise. But I don't think you help your cause by going in and saying, can we have 19%? 19% is absurd. You're never going to get that. Why are you demanding it? Well, the thing is, I know personally I've lost 20% of my salary in the yeah, last Yeah, but why are you years. demanding 19%? You're not going to get because it. Because we, we have to go in big, we have to hit hard, we have to prove our point, we have to send out our message. And we have to say to people, this is what we've actually lost, because that is what we've actually lost. And we've had below inflation pay rises for 12 years, mm. um, you know, and yes, we have had pay rises compared to other public sectors and everything, we know that. But we haven't got enough nurses. You know, wards are already closing. We're, you, we're spending a huge amount of money on agency staff. 1.5 billion is the amount that the government gives us for agency staff in the NHS. We are actually predicted to use 3.5 billion. It costs 21,000 pound a year for an agency nurse more than a, a nurse that's actually properly trained and Don happy in the job. Donna, uh, I actually wish you well, uh, but I don't think you should be on strike. I hope uh, that you do achieve a decent pay rise because you all deserve it. it it's good to talk to you. Donna Hales there, registered nurse, Nurses United member as well.